Alrighty guys, just on Shredder here. Welcome back to another episode of DOJRP. Today we are jumping back into another, what will be another Meriwether Security episode. But as I mentioned in the last live stream and uh, the last episode with Jesse Banner, uh, things with Meriwether and Jesse Banner did not work out just to avoid any potential can of worms. Uh, Blah, 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 a can of worms with uh, having a banner in Meriwether. I just decided to say screw it and make a new character to be in Meriwether. And uh, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> let's just say I kind of just went all out with this one. I just said screw it. And well, uh, let me just do slash DOB. Yeah, I just decided to just say screw it and straight up just make a character called Kael'thas. Sunstrider, ripped directly from WoW, no fucks given. And, yeah, so, uh, Kael'thas will be the direct brother to both Jet and Jax. Obviously, Jet being, you know, uh, an executive for Roger Selvage and Scrap and a reserve officer with the LSPD. There wouldn't be any red flags there. Jax, even though Jax is a member of the Balas, he doesn't have any violent criminal history. He doesn't have any felonies or anything like that, so nothing to really link him to what he do the 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 la, 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 the Balas. And since I am going to be, I will be joining Premium Deluxe Motorsport within the next couple of days at the time of recording this. He'll be, you know, he'll be a fucking, he'll be a Premium Deluxe Motorsport employee. There really, there won't be anything sketchy there. And I'm hopefully going to try to keep it that way. And not have Jax get involved in too much crazy shit to where he may get you know, arrested and then labeled as a bala. So on that note, let's hope that all works well to keep the Sun Shredder name clean-ish. And uh, yeah, I mean, if fucking if Tyler Civ 1 can get away with it with his, all his Kendall characters, I should be able to get away with it with my fucking Sun Shredder characters. No, oh, we, uh, the AOP is Blaine County, but I'm kind of in that, like, little, like, kind of twilight buffer zone that can be used for both LS and Blaine County patrols, but we are going to make our way down to, uh, Fort San Cuda to clock in for the day, and, uh, yeah, if, hope, if nothing crazy happens by the time we get there, then, no, uh, we'll just be a cut there, so, let's get at it then. Alrighty, showing up to Fort Zankudu. Go ahead and uh, stop right here. Shows Meriwether ID. Shows Meriwether Lanyard Transfer. Papers and DL to local guard at 210 to gain entry into Fort CBO. Alrighty. Gain an entry into Fort St. Kudo. Uh, no, it's the one up here, I believe. And that's where we... Hmm. Alrighty, well, I'll just go ahead and DB my vehicle. It's not like there's a chance anybody will steal it, but technically I wouldn't really leave it in there, but... I will go ahead and get set up for Murray Weather, and then I will be right back with you guys. Alrighty, well, today we are going to be rocking the baller. Got, uh, got my Hermes thing in the Civ group stuff. And uh, yeah, we ready to just head on out here and hit the road. Let's go ahead and do, uh, 
That was an advertisement for Murray Leather. Alrighty, Murray Weather is now conducting standard patrol operations within the Blaine County area. And we can head on out there and uh, see what we can get into. Hopefully nothing fucking dumb. I'd rather not get shot over an argument again. And uh, since we're still on base property, we can go ahead and flick on the lights. Just for shits and giggles, because why the fuck not? Gotta love it. Alrighty. And go ahead and try to wait for the uh, thing to let us out. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> oh, yeah, it has been a little bit of a love hate relationship with Mary with the past few patrols I've done with them, but hopefully, I can just. Cut the shit and uh, just enjoy patrolling again. All right, don't have to deal with no fucking criminal ties anymore or anything like that. Just get in and patrol as Merryweather. Ah, shit, I'm gonna get fucked for that, yo. Damn it, I already know. Damn it. Ah, man, the one time, the one fucking time, bro. Yeah, I knew as soon as I fuck. The one time I tried to get around these annoying ass slow AI down 68. God damn it. You got your license with you? Yeah, I got the, I got all that with me. It is owned by a, uh, the vehicle is owned by a government entity, so it's not going to show up in your system or anything like that, but. Oops. Alright, there you are. Alrighty, appreciate it. Yeah, I kinda knew. Just, just do me a favor. Don't do that again? Pretty much. Okay. You know the deal. Yeah. I'm sorry. But you, you gotta hand it to me. These AI are fucking slow as hell down here. Uh, they are. Okay. I, I, won't, I won't do it again. Thank, thank you, Deputy. Alrighty, well... You have a nice day. Yep, you too. Well, at least the guy was pretty fucking chill about it. Fuck. Okay, yeah, it's a... He handed it right back, and it's like, all right, here's the deal. And it's like, yeah, don't do that again. It's like, yeah, it's like, okay. I knew as soon as I did that, I saw that fucking truck. It's like, damn it. Okay, well, might as well just pull over now. Or you get it over... Oh, man, the one time, all the times I've come down Route 68 right before GOH as, like, Star or Samantha Banner or something like that, just ripping it, not giving a fuck, just driving like a complete prick. No cop, nothing. Absolutely fucking nothing. All right. Like, nobody fucking bats an eye. The one time I do it as Merriweather, like an official business, like fucking government employed and all that shit, immediately spotted and pulled over. And it's like, come on, bro. Don't, why? I just sort of want to put all the shit behind me and then that happens. But come on, you gotta, you, you gotta give it to me, all right? The AI are slow on 68. It's so... Dumb how slow they are in 60, but yeah, still, it's, you know, d passing over a double yellow and stuff. It, yeah, that's still not legit. Okay, we'll go ahead. Oh, God, that truck ain't looking too hot. You know what? I should probably set my personal vehicle, too, while I'm at it. Oh, 
I would have given Kael'thas the fucking Merryweather hat, but it kind of clipped weird with his hair, and I don't want to fucking try to change his hairstyle just to get the hat to work, so uh, we're going hatless on this character. First hatless Merryweather character, eh? Okay, let's go ahead. Player, personal, sket. Wonderful. Alrighty. And away we go. Maybe I can head on down to Sandy Source uh, Sheriff Station. See if I can do like a little uh, inventory audit or something on it. <sighs> Lock the doors, get on the floors, everybody do the dinosaurs. Approaches. <laughs> Desk in. This is myself as PFC. With my weather security. Inventory. <clears throat> Check up. Any one has questions. Hey, Sergeant Plus from any. Department may come down to <laughs> down to either. Alrighty, let's see if anybody wants to uh, bite that. Go back to the Merryweather Discord because I still don't remember what the hell this shit was to get inside. Alright, police departments is 2013. Got it. Alrighty, well, I suppose. We go. Leave some area with a lanyard with the local desk sergeant just in case. And uh, I guess that one's not, you know, necessarily covered by it. But you can go ahead and uh, head on inside, I suppose. See if anybody wants to bite with that. Oh. Oh, that apparently was locked. Uh, nope, that's the mugshot room. That's probably why. That's the mugshot room. That's investigation. That's interrogation. That's all of that shit. Where the fuck is the armory for this place? Also, it's pouring rain outside now. Great. That's reception. That's office space. What's up here? Is the armory up here? Oh god, it's gonna be the fucking Mission Rule PD all over again, I swear. Archive! Chief Deputy Sheriff. Sheriff. Uh, 
Oh boy, I don't remember a damn thing about this fucking police station. Alright, you can, uh, you can relock. Good. I think it's in with the lockers, I think. Oh, come on. I guess I could double check. Yeah, there's the armory. Alright, and there's the restroom as well. I'll keep that unlocked until I leave. Really? It's just gonna let me in? Huh, interesting. Oh well. Equipment within Sandy Shores PD. And I'm really hoping that, you know, somebody comes down and uh, engages with me in this RP, you know? Even if it's a sergeant being all questioning me and stuff, it's like, it's... It's part of what Meriwether does. We're contracted to assist with the police stations. You know, as long as they're decently respectable about it, I don't mind explaining myself and doing all that fun stuff with them. Don't mind that. I don't mind doing that at all. Uh, what the fuck? Nope, that's the walk styles. That would be why. Uh, oh dear. Uh, home, emotes, dynamic. I could go up and do Polito Bay as well. Maybe even explore the fucking SAHP HQ. Dude, I've never been in the SAHP HQ. I don't even know if they have an interior up there or not. That'd be fucking cool to see. I get to show off all the fancy interiors. That's fucking awesome. I get to sh There's even a grape seed chair station, too, I can go and look at. Oh, people are leaving at a slightly rapid pit rate, though. <laughs> I don't think there'll be anybody left in server to even, like, do that shit with. Oh. There we go. Oh, oh, no. Okay, it's gonna make me do that, huh? Lock the door behind me. Oop. Okay, I guess then that's locked now, lol. Oh! Oh, shots fired? Oops. What the shit and shots fired? Yeah, I'm 22 in that kick, by the way. That kick did not happen. What the fuck? I just heard, sh I just heard shots out there. Hello? What? Oh. 
weird. Uh oh. But you know what we can do, though? We can go take a sneak peek at the uh, Sandy Storage Medical Center. Do a little security check for them. I mean, you know, it's just a shots fired call in Sandy Shores. You gotta fucking understand that that'd be like a common occurrence. Right? Oh, yeah. Ugh, nice to get out of the rain. Holy shit. Nice to get... Alrighty. Alrighty, we're gonna go ahead and be doing a quick security check for uh, Sandy Shores Medical here. Uh, dang it, no, that's uh, an office room. I could probably go ahead and uh, come in here. Although this looks like an actual doctor's room, uh, I think I'd probably more so do that uh, at the front desk, or maybe there's like a proper office somewhere. Yeah, no, these are a hundred percent office buildings, but whatever. It's a fucking computer system. It works fine. It's whatever. Fire door do not block. Uh, that's the bathroom actually. Now, this is probably the room I'd probably use it for. All, I'm all. Have some surgery rooms. Mm, I have a changing room. Got a janitor room, and then we got the uh, got the Wee Woo garage. Nice. That's where all the Band Aid buses hang out, is and I like to call them. Or no, I think she called them Band-Aid buses. Liko calls them Wee Woo buses, I think. I don't know. <laughs> you know what we can do? Hop in here. You can skim through the paper security related documents from there. Alrighty, that's uh, Sandy Source Medical Center taken care of. Still pouring fucking rain right now.
I mean, I could maybe drive by just to see. <laughs> Be a nosy fucking Meriwether guard a little bit, just as long as I don't actively intrude. But in all serious, though, I'm not going to show up on scene and demand I take part in it. I'm just going to drive by just to see what's going on. 929. There's nothing illegal about being a little nosy. I. As long as I don't actively interrupt whatever the fuck's going on here. Yeah, it looks like there's not a whole lot of anything going on right now, so... Alright. All right. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. Oh shit, we got fucking SSPD up a wazoo up here. Holy shit. Well, there's only two vehicles, but still. Alright, we can go ahead and pull up to the Sandy Shores 24-7. Do a little, uh... Think for the local clerk about conducting a quick security... I did not need to do that in MIR, but it's in MIR, I guess. Oop. L. Take this L, lol. Anyway. Rock up Sandy 24-7. Very is functioning. In science out. Snapper. Let's go to there. Alrighty. Ah, yes, sir. Perfect. I'm ready to check out. Here we go. Oh, uh, unfortunately, I am just a security guard, just filling out my security report here. You can have this uh, local clerk uh, run you through if you need to. Oh, you said you're going to check me out. Perfect. Uh, no, I did Thank not. You. No, I can't. I am security. I am not 24-7. Right. What's my damage? How uh, much I owe you? Out. Security... Report form. Come on, I ain't got all day. Yes, local clerk. Alright, all right, uh, local clerk, if you could just sign this for me and then I'll let you get back to work here. Yeah, I know I'm interrupting. I'm sorry. Right. No, hey, look, I need you no. to get over here. Let's get no, the local that... guy's not doing his job. Yeah, I well, I mean, me that, that's because I asked him to sign off for it, all right? I admit I apologize for holding him up. All right, I'm sorry. Well, look, then you get over here and come check me out. I, I don't. I'm just a security guard, man. I don't. Come I'm not check qualified me out. to come do on. that. I'm not. I'm sorry. Oh, you're qualified to be a rent a cop, but you can't even check me out. No, that that's exactly right. All right, I am a. That's mall, exactly right. Yes, you're I'm a mall, mall cop, cop with a gun. I'm a mall cop with a gun, and I don't I know. I bet there's I rubber bullets in there, ain't there? I mean, I could switch out to them, but I mean, I could. Switch. See, yep, 
Where's your segue, Paul Blart? No. Yep. Hang on, let me go get the segue out of the out of the scout out there. Let me go ahead and get the Alright, go get it. Yep. Well, I don't actually have a segue. I wish I did though. I wish I did. That'd be kind of fun, not gonna lie. Fire in a cop. Alright. Yep, you have a good day, sir. You have a good day. Stop harassing me. <sighs> wow, of course. Typical bucket security interaction right there. Ooh, hello. Uh Close that. Close the door, fucking Kael'thas. God damn it, there we go. Uh, of course, he immediately resorts to uh, harassing me. <laughs> to, uh, well, me harassing him because I wouldn't check him through because I'm just a freaking security guard and I ain't qualified to do that. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't. I'm not even in 24 7. <laughs> oh my god. He even said, like, okay, you have a good day, sir. Slow my recipe. Typical. Typical security interaction. I mean, technically, Mary Weather would be more than just a mall cop because, you know, whole Department of Defense contract, but. Oh, well. I don't want to make the same mistake. I don't want to make the same mistake. Oh, God. I don't want to make the same mistake Jess did. Alright, I ain't gonna escalate over a simple conversation. Oh my god, why? Yeah, 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 dispatch. I'm going to that. I, I was just there. Okay. Alrighty. Bye. Okay, it looks like we already have a cop on scene, though. Oh god, we have two cops on scene. Well, Alright, well, I'm gonna pull in here. Just to, uh... Support the officers. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't know... There he okay. is, right there. The, the security guy? Look, here's the thing. If I walk out with these items and I'm just chilling, I need him to check me out. All right, but you realize, you know, this is a private establishment. The clerk at the register told you no and denied you service. They don't have to give you a specific reason why they denied service. Uh, the clerk didn't deny service. He just left. It was him. All right, so... He was I the mean, one behind the counter. He didn't... He, I couldn't him? buy these items. Yes! Me? No, the guy no, standing the behind, guy behind you. you. The guy behind me. Looks like a security guard, not a clerk. That's what uh, I was he saying. He was behind the counter when I walked in. I told him to check me out. Uh, if I may interject here, officers. Go ahead. I Go was doing... Come on, Rent-A-Cop. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Hey, man, listen, man. If I were uh, you, I'd bite your tongue, because right now you're misuse of a government hotline. You have no emergency here, and you called us to deal with right. you not being able to Can I speak with one of you guys outside? I'm trying to not... Yeah, no, you can go ahead. You, no, you, go ahead. Go ahead and speak right here. It's fine. Oh. Oh. No, okay. no, go ahead. Go I ahead. Just, I just didn't want that guy talking over me. But anyway... No, no, he won't. Okay. Well, I... Uh, first of all, born my manners. Uh, I'm Kale Thoss Sunstrider, Merriweather Security. Nice to meet you, officer. Um, I was doing just a general security checkup, you know, so, right? Because, you know, Merriweather Security, we're contract. Understandable. We yeah, it's your well, job. We, uh, we have a, uh, a mutual aid contract with G6 that allows us to be here. And I was just checking the back, checking the CCTV network, skimming over some security documents, making sure everything's all good. And then I went behind the counter to ask the local clerk to sign off on the security form because that's something we have to do, right, to show proof sure. of us actually doing it. I asked the security, or not security, the local clerk behind the counter to go like, hey, you know, sorry to interrupt, just sign this for me real quick. Sure. And then I leave, right? I'll get out of your hair and I'll let you tend to this person or, you know, do do your job. So I left. I, le I left, right? This guy, obviously, this guy started to mock me a little bit, but it's like, yeah, I roll my eyes at it, continue on. Oh, no, that's okay. Life. If he keeps it up, he's just going to get a ticket. 
Yeah, you know, roll my eyes, continue on with my life, don't give them the satisfaction of reaction, just keep on going. And then, right as I got down, right as I turned on to Panorama, lo and behold, I get a call from Merriweather Dispatch about this guy complaining about not being served, so... Right. I came down yeah, to I check you. it out, obviously you two are here first, so it's like, I'll let you guys, you know, take over priority of the scene, and then... When he was talking about me, and it's like, okay, I'll just interject and say my two cents, I guess. Sure. But yeah, that's what happened. Okay. Um, now, do you want to go and start saying your side? Yes. And well, I you already in. said it. I mean, but look, look, go ahead. I walked in. I bought some bread. Oop, Oop my apologies. I bought a gum. I bought. I bought a donut. No worries. And I bought some ice cream. And when I got done buying my ice cream, he's standing right there behind the counter. So I come and put my items up on the counter and said, all right, I'm ready to check out. He hands somebody okay. a piece of paper, walks off and leaves and doesn't check me out. I'm not trying to go to jail for shoplifting. Okay. Um, and do you think that it's a good reason to call 911 an emergency This guy's line, getting screwed over, you know, bro. For that, you know, people are in distress <laughs> of. Oh, these cops are not having any of his shit. And I like uh, it. Did, I'm having all of it, bro. Soaking it in. No. Well, so I yes, mean, I called y'all. You know, from what it sounds like, there's a county clerk here working the desk here, and he was meeting with the county clerk. But hang on, give me one. Uh, oh, oh, y'all good? Sheriff, sure, you want to get somebody? Yeah, 3x1398, brick mouse. Whoop! My bad. Oh, that works, that's fine. Um, okay, so here's the deal. Um, sure, sure you didn't get serviced, right? Um, sure that that's what happened. I'm not sure what happened, all right? You know, I mean, there, uh, there's, there's always three sides to a story, sir. You know, there's your side, his side, and the truth, you know? Um, but what's going on is it sounds like you were denied service for any reason. It sounds like he didn't even service you. Um, well, that's not his problem. <laughs> and to be frank, that's not our problem. You don't you don't call ah. an emergency hotline, you know, to report that someone didn't service you. That's not the correct hotline to use. Very and poor if there is for some though. reason any issue, service you see me. that he Ugh. is in a uniform that is marked as the corporate security or whoever he's with. I believe. Are you with Meriwether, sir? Uh, yes, sir. Meriwether Security. All right, so he's he's wearing a shirt that says security. He's clearly working the premises. If you had an issue, or you had an issue with him not servicing you, which I don't think is his job even. I believe oh. he's a third-party contractor. You could have said that to him. You don't need to call 911 for that. Does that make sense? So, I did say it to him. I literally, he shouldn't have been standing behind the counter then when somebody comes up and wants to check out. Well, he, up, if he's allowed to be behind the counter. there. I, I put am. my items on the counter. All right, I'm ready to ring up. Because I don't want to get a job for shoplifting. I'm just trying to pay for my shirt sure. and go about my day. Sure. But and did you soon, happen to... As soon as I walk out of here, I guarantee you, whoever's in the back working the stock room right now would probably call 911 because they see it on the camera. Oh, there's a guy walking out of here with with $20 worth of items. So just confirming with you, uh, sir. Um, you said that you were meeting with a county clerk, right? There's a clerk at the counter up here? Yes, there is a clerk there. I would, I had him sign off on the shirt? form. Yes. Right. And I so told him. Think that... And that's what that's I told right. him. It's like, hey, I'm Merriweather. I don't work behind the counter. I'm not with 24-7. This lovely clerk here will uh, be happy to tend to your needs as soon as I get out of your guys' hair. Right. So you didn't, sir. You didn't think to ask the person who's standing right in front of you, wearing a twenty-four-seven shirt, at the, excuse me, at the register. He was the one standing right in front of me. Okay, but no, 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 no. Look right here. Who is this person right here? Yes, there's a clerk over there. I know. Right. But so, he so look, was standing. No, don't go behind the counter. Don't go behind the counter. Come back over here. here. Okay, you don't have to. You can just tell me. You don't have to show me. Well, I'll, obviously, I mean, I would make a PowerPoint for you. 
for a visual representation, okay. but I don't have a computer with me at the moment. All right. Well, what is your what is your name? Uh, why do you need my name? Oh, because I'm going to need to identify who you are, and I'm going to need to get an identification from you. Why? Because I'm going to write you a do? citation for misuse of a government hotline. You did not have an emergency. Yikes. You called 911 to report that you weren't. Trying not it is to get not an emergency, arrested sir. For shoplifting is no. definitely an emergency. No. no. Go ahead and hand me your ID, please. I don't even and, have um, me. It's at home. I mean, you've obviously caused this business a very large hassle for today. So I'm going to, you know, talk to the security agent here and see if he wants to file a trespass because he has you more than his right to do so trespass. i i am not i'm going to ask him if he wishes to i'm you not going to tell him he has that to that is soliciting that, that is, is not soliciting a trespass in his head i want to supervise him oh my god well let me see your id I want no you're not getting a supervisor you're not getting ah. a supervisor I'll call one. Hang it's on. not a, okay go ahead do not use the 911 line oh it's not in the policy to call a supervisor sir I'm going to ask you, it is within your complete right from a private business if you would like to, you know, obviously do a trespass. You're not required to do a trespass. Um, I'm not, you know, forcing you to do a trespass. Obviously, you know how to do your job. Um, what do you want to do? I mean, he's obviously caused your business a, a large hassle here, so. Are you asking me or the clerk? You. You. You? You're the security agent, right? Me? I mean, I yeah, don't you. really care. All right. Oh! Is that 22? Um, I, I hope, because this guy's yeah, about to get yeah, fucking no. shot. Okay. Yeah. Oh! I'm sorry. In the middle of uh, you just You just got off yeah. lucky. Oh, boy. Yeah. The bad time for a muscle spasm there, bro. <laughs> oh, very much so. I would have uh, okay. in a lot of trouble. But... Okay. Uh, so let's try right. that again. Okay. So... Me, personally, I don't really care all too cool. much. If That's the clerk wants to do it, then sure. But me personally, I just, I don't really, I don't want to, I don't want to take it that far, me personally. It's like, yeah. Sounds good. All right. That's completely within your rights. Sir, I will need your identification, please, as I'm going to cite you for the misuse of a government hotline. So go and get your ID out for me and hand that to me. Can you hear me, sir? I'm sorry. Uh, say the last part again. I need to see your ID. I'm writing you a citation. I, are you going to call me a supervisor? It's not in direct policy to request a supervisor upon request. I don't need a super. I don't need a supervisor. You don't, but so, I do. Uh, no, no, I don't need to request well, one. It's not in the policy. I need your identification. This is your last warning to provide you it. Did. I need it. I okay. told you I don't have All it right. on me. All right. Why don't you have it on you? Because it's at home. I'm a block from my house. Y'all just saw me at home. Okay. Uh, what's your first, last name, and date of birth? Oh, boy. Sir? <clears throat> and you're calling 911, aren't you? Cool. I wouldn't be surprised. He's calling, uh, he's calling the non-emergency line. Fascinating how people can call the emergency line without actually making any noise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, sir. At this time, go and turn around, put your hands behind your back. You're being placed under arrest today for misuse of a government hotline, which is a class, with class B misdemeanor. Excuse oh, me, Class C boy. misdemeanor. Section 4, Title 13. Please turn around, put your hands behind your back. Okay, this guy starts okay, fighting. I'm back in my head. Good. So turn around, put your hands behind your back, being placed in arrest state from issues of a government hotline. It's a Class B, it's class C misdemeanor. For what? I just told you, you what for. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. ID. I don't need your ID anymore. You're being placed under arrest. <laughs> turn around, put your hands behind your back. Oh boy. Oh boy. Awesome. No, nope. turn around. Turn around, sir. Oh boy. I mean, hey, if this guy starts fight fighting the cop, I'm gonna fucking tase his ass. Oh, 
Hey! Put your hands up, sir. Put your hands up, you're gonna get tased. Um. Um. Uh. Yeah. Alright, don't move. Put your hands up. Put your hands up, dude. You need the beanbag from a shotgun if you move. Put your hands up. I can't. That shit hurts. Why? But why'd you try running off? Cause fuck you. That's why. Put your hands up, dude. Let me see your hands. Oh, that hurt. Let me see your hands. Oh, beanbag shotgun from left field. All right, just do me a favor. Lay your hands flat on the on the uh, on the gravel there. No, 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 no. Don't reach, dude. Oh shit. Stop. Dude, you reach again, you're getting shot, man. Stop. You're gonna get tased again, dude. Reach again. I will run your monkey. Stop. Dude, you're gonna get shot. You need to stop. Next time you reach, you're getting a real gun. Stop reaching, dude. Ah, man down. Call medical. Ow. Relax, dude. Just put your hands flat out. Put your hands out like an airplane. Fucking locals. And stop reaching. Mayweather, get out of here, man. I'm backing yeah, back you guys up. up. No, just just back up. Just get out of here for now. Put your hands uh, up, dude. Okay. Put your hands up, man. Dude, I'm telling you, you reach, you're getting shot. And all right, I was told to back up. Oh, ah! Jesus. Yeah, I mean, they, they got three cops over there now. I guess it is fair enough that I back off and stuff. Oh, well. I mean, hey, I got thumbnail shots. That's all I care about. I got some sick fucking thumbnail shots. That's all I'm gonna need. That's all I'm gonna need. That's all I'm gonna need. You might want to put a speed zone in, though. Yeah, that they he got he fucked around. He found out real damn quick. <laughs> I Jesus Christ, this dude will not stop reaching. Yo. Yeah, I'll just be on standby in case they want to talk to me afterwards. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just laughing at the fact that I got ran over by that fucking BF injection. Just man damn call medical. <laughs> fucking get hit by a fucking car, dude. Trying to assist Elio with holding a man at gunpoint. He was gonna- I swear- If he was gonna try calling 
More 911 again for being held at gunpoint. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna turn my lights off. Don't need those on. Don't need those on. They look cool, but... Eh. Probably don't need those on. I'm just gonna... Mm -hmm, I'm just gonna... I'll, uh, I'll just kind of lean up against the wall here, I guess. Wait for one of them to come talking to me. Yeah, no, if he lives through this, he's getting a, uh... He's getting a trespass, whoever the fuck this dude is. Disappointed Mary weather noises, but... When it was just me and the SSPD officer, it makes sense for me to back him up, but now that, now that, uh, but when the backup unit arrives, it's like, okay, fine. Don't back off, Sag. Don't back off. Lights on hand, 107 beats per minute. Oh! Fucking A. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, mm, uh, uh. Uh, I mean, Pops didn't seem too worried about it. I was gonna maybe see if, like, I don't think it's gonna be open right now, but... Damn, time. man, you balled a little, I ain't gonna lie. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Ew. Uh, just go through a secure police scene, I guess. It's not balding, it's styled that way. God oh, damn it. Watch out. Was it you? It's your fault. No, no, no. It no. was your get, fault, get away wasn't from it? Him. Get away Man, from fuck him. You. Hmm. Hey, you know what? Listen, you bro. shouldn't even listen, work bro. for You should quit. Quit. Get listen, away bro. from me. Get away from listen, me. Listen up, bro. I'm pressing charges. No, he defended himself. You're walking up to him in an aggressive manner. I did not back touch up. him. Back up. Back up. Bro. He kept approaching I'm doing, him. I'm trying to hear you. Stop. I'm pressing Stop. charges. Stop. Stop. I want to press charges. Stop. Stop. Charges. Approaching him. Charges. Citizens arrest. Either you Stop. arrest him or I will. Stop. Arrest him. You arrest him or I will. Stop. What the fuck? Just, what? yeah, don't try not to no, do that while we're I, here. I know, I know you're good, though. You're good. No, I, he, uh, mm. Oh, fuck it. I am, watch. Boom, boom. Dude, you're, you're, dude, you are testing it. You are. Oh, he got, he shit. got tackled. He said he was gonna put, uh, Adam, he said he was gonna put out a gun. Boom, 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 boom. So I did tackle him. Okay, like, you know I, what? You know what? Well, I know they shot you know them. what? Just in case. Maybe he should have. 
Exactly. I want to rip your face off like a dog. What? Yo, I'm just. What? I never said I was gonna shoot him. I said I was gonna rip your face off like a dog. Woof, woof, rip. I never said I was Yo, gonna uh, use it. That I'm guy like... over there in the mask. I said, hmm? I said I was gonna rip your face off. Did you off lay like hands on the guy over there in the mask? He was aggressively Yo, approaching me and I was I defending was myself. Rip your face off so I pushed him to the ground. Yes, this PD officer saw it. The SSPD officer said I was Bro, defending myself, so... I'm acting... Cool, so I need to know, thanks. Yep. I said, grrr. Did I lay hands on him? No. Okay, then. He has no right to put his hands on me. What? You heard me. Right? Dude, what, why are you bringing me to jail? Because you threatened Criminal to shoot threats. him a minute ago. I said I was going to bite your face off like a dog. Roof, roof. Grrr. Yeah, and then you threatened you to shoot him. You to shoot at me. I never said I was gonna shoot you. I said I was gonna pull a gun out. I never said I was gonna shoot you. That's not a threat. That was never directed towards Swear to God, if I get shot on this scene, I am not killing this character. Oh, this is my first time using them. Exactly. Nope. Nope. Ruff, ruff, grrr. I should have a 22 in my bag, but. How about this? We all get in our respective vehicles and we leave. Thank you, yo. I actually, I actually want to commend this guy. Yo, my man wanted an arrest so bad. How's it feel not to bring me to jail, huh? How's it feel? How's it feel? Oop. Yep. I should probably do that. Yeah, you want to handle it ourselves? Oh, hell no. Nope. Mm -mm. nope. Where are you going, bruh? Nope. Not dealing with you. Nope. Not happening. I'm going to Fort Zancudo. And if he follows me to Fort Zancudo, into Fort Zancudo... I am grabbing this fucking carbine, and I am shooting this fucker for trespassing on federal property if he follows me inside. Alrighty. I am not responding to anything else tonight. I am going to hell to bed. I am not risking it in this character shot his first fucking patrol. I really don't want to make the same mistakes that I did with Jessica that got her shot and kidnapped and killed. So, uh, even if there were law enforcement on scene there, they looked like they were about ready to go, and I did not want to be left alone at the 24-7 and possibly screwed over. So, uh, yeah. Left feeling confident enough that I didn't need my, uh, my vest, and I came back with my vest on. Ho, 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 Alrighty. Well, fellas, that is going to be where I call it for this episode of DOJRP. Hopefully I don't meet those guys again further down the line as Kael'thas. But uh, we shall see. But in any case, uh, thank you all for coming out and watching. And I will hopefully see you all in the next one.